A strong earthquake shook southern Ecuador and northern Peru on Saturday, killing at least 14 people, trapping others under rubble, and sending rescue teams out into streets littered with debris and fallen power lines. The U.S. Geological Survey reported an earthquake with a magnitude of about 6.8 that was centered just off the Pacific coast, about 50 miles south of Guayaquil, Ecuador's second-largest city. One of the victims died in Peru, while 13 others died in Ecuador, where authorities also reported that at least 126 people were injured. Ecuadorian President Guillermo Lasso told reporters the earthquake had, without a doubt, generated alarm in the population. Lasso's office in a statement said 11 of the victims died in the coastal state of El Oro and two in the highland state of Azui. In Peru, the earthquake was felt from its northern border with Ecuador to the central Pacific coast. Peruvian Prime Minister Alberto Odorola said a four-year-old girl died from head trauma she suffered in the collapse of her home in the Tums region, on the border with Ecuador. One of the victims in Azui was a passenger in a vehicle crushed by rubble from a house in the Andean community of Cuenca, according to the Risk Management Secretariat, Ecuador's emergency response agency. In El Oro, the agency also reported that several people were trapped under rubble. In the community of Makala, a two-story home collapsed before people could evacuate, a pier gave way and a building's walls cracked, trapping an unknown number of people. The agency said firefighters worked to rescue people while the national police assessed damage, their work made more difficult by downed lines that interrupted telephone and electricity service. Makala resident Fabricio Cruz said he was in his third-floor apartment when he felt a strong tremor and saw his television hit the ground. He immediately headed out. I heard how my neighbors were shouting and there was a lot of noise, said Cruz, a 34-year-old photographer. He added that when he looked around, he noticed the collapsed roofs of nearby houses. Ecuador's government also reported damages to health care centers and schools. Lasso said he would travel on Saturday to El Oro.